five, what, five bedrooms? Can I count? Oh, that's one, two, three, four. I bet you I cannot count before. Oh shit, I got a five bedroom house. Fuck you, you talk. Oh my god. Fuck out of here. Is this a room too? Oh my god. What the fuck? So one, two, three, one, two. Let me count right. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I can't wrong, huh? Oh no, that's a bad one. Oh, y'all mad about that whole shit, huh? What y'all mad about? Oh, this is crazy. This is like, this is crazy. This is a major deal. So thankful. And you look at Rock. He's just so happy that he's in shit like that. What are you talking about? All right. So what y'all want me? What y'all want to know? Y'all be hearing shit. I'll be forgetting. You get another dog? No, I'm getting a baby goat. I want a goat, like a little goat. Nah, but I've been in the studio and shit. I work my best with that nigga. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Can't get over it. I want to sit in the pool. Hold on, let me heat up the pool. That shit, that shit is beautiful. I am H A P P. Happy <laughs> baby. This looks so cute, and this is just the side of my house. Because I got my house look cool. Oh, y'all, okay, y'all in the fringes about my tweets. Um, I was just popping my shit because everybody keep popping shit and it's not true. Like, stop popping the wrong shit. Where is the fucking pool heater? This is so motherfucking cool. And Rock, don't shit in the house, yo. Rock. She the type of friend that listens to nobody's advice. No, it's just that. What advice are you giving me? The first nine times out of ten, I got way more money than the advice than any of y'all giving me. I'm just like, I don't know what y'all talking about. I can give advice, but how about y'all give yourself advice to get some money? Where your money at? Hmm. Where your house at? Hmm. Who are you then? They suck my dick, y'all. What the fuck is he talking about? So, Krishan, she was just giving a tour of her house. But the thing that I'm confused about is, if you bought the house and you was planning this for months, how the hell is she giving a tour of the house? Is she acting like she finding out stuff? Like she finding out how many bedrooms or, or this a bathroom? Like, oh, this is making me think 
either Blueface probably bought this for her or somebody just, I don't know. I just don't get it because I'm trying to figure out why would you buy a house and then walk around and say, oh, how many bedrooms? Oh, that's a bathroom. Oh, this is bath. Like, something just not adding up. But shit, it looked like a nice house, though. It looked like you got plenty of room, especially if it's just going to be her. I wonder if she's going to move in any family members because I know as soon as Jaden started tripping or Jaden started getting tired of this bullshit, he's going to go right to wherever Krishan at. And he's going to go right back to Jaden whenever she started tripping. He got it his way. He got it. Whichever way he pleased. And then Krishan talking about something. She didn't want nobody feeling sorry for her. And she was like, look, I probably got more money than anybody that's worrying about me or my situation. So she like, worry about your own shit. Get money. So, hey, she right. The only thing that I don't want her doing is getting back online, tweeting up a storm, talking about some, I pray for God to remove any negativity. It's all about me and my baby. This and that. It's all about me and my career. He's a manipulator. Because that's literally the same thing that Jaden did. When Blueface was with Krishan, a couple of days, Jaden got online going off. The kids ain't his. He's a narcissist. I'm finally seeing the light. I left Myth Music. Then the very next day, Blueface back home, tongue on her ass. She ain't going nowhere. Then she changed her Instagram to First Lady of Myth Music. Her dumb ass got the tattoo. So ain't no telling what's going to happen. Krishan already talking about she going to change the baby's name because she was mad at him. This shit ain't nothing but another disaster waiting. But this shit happen all the time in the hood. Like so many dysfunctional relationships. The girl keep going back and forth, back and forth. Both of them getting locked up. This shit happens all the time. It's just because Krishan and Blueface got famous off this shit. Like Krishan actually blew up. She can make more money than Blueface. That's why it don't make no sense for her to go and sign with Memphis Music, but shit. All this shit was an act. Like, all, like they planned all this shit. It gotta be, bro. Because she can't be this stupid. Because like she said, she getting all the money from this. The way she looking at it, every time she with Blueface, they always in the blogs anyway. They getting money. They got reality show. They probably going to film a season three. They probably going to do a show with them two and a baby. Like, so she probably just looking at it like Blueface put her in this position. So she going to just stay with him. I don't know. I don't know if it's Stockholm Syndrome or what, but she better not be online crying about Oh, he's taking advantage of me. He's a narcissist. Nah, because you signed up for this. Because she has so many supporters and fans telling her something. They give up. They no longer Christian Rock fans. They don't follow her. Because she keep doing the same shit that she said that she wouldn't do. But shit, this is her life to live. We are just watching it like it's a goddamn movie, man. What y'all think about this, your boy? Peace.